Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, July 5th, 2013. This week, how to add and organize purchased cutting files into the Silhouette Library. To make it easy to find the digital cutting files that you've purchased, you can add them to your Silhouette software library. Here's how. Begin by downloading and unzipping your purchases. You'll get an error message if you accidentally forget to unzip them before you try opening them in the software. Open the Silhouette software and click Show Library from the menu over here on the left. Create a new folder to organize your downloads. Right click on My Library and then click New Folder. This creates a new folder titled Untitled Folder. The folder name is highlighted so you can type in your own folder name and then press enter on your keyboard. You may wish to use the designer's names, themes, or project type for your folder titles. To add your purchased items to the folder, choose File, Import to My Library. Use the look in box at the top to locate your downloaded files on your computer. Then change the files of type here to choose SVG or PNG depending on which ones you're importing. Select the file you want to import and click OK. This opens a box where you can add keywords, a description, and the artist's name as well as a category like regular cut. Entering a few keywords will help you find the file in a search. When you're satisfied with your descriptions, click OK. The image you just named will be over here on the right. Click and drag the image down into your new folder. Now you'll see when I click on the folder, I've got the new file that shows up on the right. You'll notice that all of the folders in the My Library category are in alphabetical order. There's not really a way to change that but if you wanted something at the top, you could always begin it with a number one instead of beginning with a letter. You can add subfolders under each of the folders by right clicking and repeating the new folder method. So under Designer Digitals, I can create a new folder and then give it a title like Katie Pertit, who's the designer. The structure can be as simple or as complex as you'd like. To move files from one folder to another, just click on the image that you want to move and drag it into a different folder. Right click any folder to delete or rename it, but be careful when deleting a high level folder as it will delete all of the subfolders too. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next cutting file tip.